What's going on guys, it's Hi, and today I have for you an exclusive first look at an upcoming product from Saray, and it's the EPC 10K. Here is the Saray EPC 10K. This product was sent to me directly from Saray Europe, free of charge for review purposes. I have not been instructed to say anything in particular about this product, so all opinions expressed will be my own. This EPC 10K arrived without any packaging and there is no information for it listed anywhere yet because it is not yet available for sale. I received a pre-production unit but was told that the one that I received is representative of the final product. The EPC 10K is expected to be available starting September 1st, 2019 for $149.90. If there are any updates to the final product after the official release, I'll make sure to update the information in the write-up for this product on my website which you can check out in the description below. When I first saw the EPC 10K, I said to myself, wait a minute, this looks really familiar. And that is because of this. Here's my Saray EP204S. This is the monopod that I most often use, but just look at its feet. This looks very familiar, right? That is because the feet of the EPC 10K is of the same design as the feet of the EP204S and a few other Saray monopods. Prior to receiving the EPC 10K, this is something that I've already done in the past. Whenever I needed a tabletop tripod, I just took the feet off of my EP204S monopod and threw a ball head on it. The EPC 10K just comes with a better fitting ball head. Although there are no release specs for the EPC 10K yet, I do have the specs for the individual pieces so we can make some pretty good assumptions. First, the EP224ST tabletop tripod legs. These legs feature a carbon fiber one section leg design. The legs span from a minimum height of 210 millimeters or 8.27 inches to a maximum height of 285 millimeters or 11.22 inches. As you can see, the legs can be utilized at two different angles and can be adjusted by releasing the leg lock button. The legs themselves weigh 0.43 kilograms or 0.95 pounds, but can hold a max payload of 8 kilograms or 17.64 pounds. When it comes to features, the EP224ST is a bit more unique than most tabletop tripods. Again, these legs were originally intended to be used with a video monopod, so we get the various features that that entails. The most interesting thing about these legs are the inclusion of the leveling base. Once the security knob and the ball locking knob is released, the upper section of these legs act like a leveling base of a video tripod. You can move the stem and achieve different angles much easier than if you were to adjust the tripod legs. This is very useful for leveling out those horizons. The base can also help you achieve some simple camera movements that may not be as stable if you were to handhold. Next we have the Saray CS10 ball head. This head measures in at 88 millimeters or 3.5 inches, weighs 0.22 kilogram or 0.49 pound, and has a max payload of 13 kilograms or 28.7 pounds. In terms of features, this is a pretty standard ball head. It utilizes an Arca Swiss plate system that is accessible by a locking knob and a security pin release button. The main ball and the panning base are held in place with two other locking knobs. To get the final specs of the EPC 10K, we just combine the specs of the EP 224ST legs and the CS10 head. One thing to know about this product is that the CS10 ball head can actually hold 13 kilograms, while the EP 224ST legs can only hold 8 kilograms. With a tripod setup, you have to consider the final product only as capable as its weakest components. In this case, although the head can hold more weight, the legs are not recommended for such weights. Pushing the head to its limits while using these legs may cause damage to the legs or cause total failure, which may result in damaging your camera gear. This is where this setup surprises me. Typically, the head will be the weak point of a tripod. The legs can typically hold much more than the head. In either case, this seems like a missed opportunity. Either make the legs sturdier so I can take full advantage of the head's potential or give me a head that is more in line with the legs and maybe drop the price a little bit. Having the head being able to hold almost twice as much as the legs really don't mean anything unless you really want to push the limits. Overall, as a tabletop mini tripod, this product does very well. But that being said, there are a few things that I don't like about it. First of all, I would have to say that I don't like the aesthetics of this tripod. This is essentially Saray taking scrap parts, putting it together, and making a new product. And because of this, the parts, the head and the legs don't exactly flow perfectly together. Had these parts been made for each other, the connection between the head and the legs would be much more streamlined, and there wouldn't be these excessive ridges. To me, this looks a bit janky, and I don't like it. 
But again, this product functions as it should and it does it very well. And again, this is something that I've done in the past. Take the legs off my EP204S and just threw a ball head on it. It works flawlessly, it's just not the prettiest setup. Also, had the parts been made for each other, we would have a product with specifications, in this case, max payload, that would fall more in line with each other. My second complaint with this product is that it's just confusing to me. I'm not really sure why this thing exists. Sure, Saray had the parts lying around, so might as well put it together and create a new revenue stream, but I think that this product could have been better implemented. Again, these are the legs from a video monopod. The loving base is supposed to help video shooters get a leveled composition much faster and easier. However, for photography, there is really little use for this leveling base because the setup comes with a ball head. It is much easier to level out your composition with the ball head than using the leveling base in the legs. To me, the only real big use for this leveling base during photography is for shooting panoramas. But because this tripod is so short, using it for panoramas will really only give you one particular type of shot, a ground level shot. So again, for photography, this tripod will really only give you one particular look. A better use for these legs would be for video purposes, like it was designed for. I think Saray should have brought this product out with a small, compact, fluid video head. That would have paired really well with these legs, and sure, a tabletop fluid video tripod would be a really niche product, but I guarantee that there would have been a market for it. Now some of you may be watching this video and be thinking that this would make a pretty good vlogging tripod. You can throw a camera up here, use this thing as a makeshift selfie stick, and when you want, open up the legs and you can put the camera down. This seems like it would make a good run and gun setup, but for those interested in doing this, let me point out a few things. First, this entire setup is pretty unergonomic for hand holding. Just the way that the legs are situated and orientated, it makes the entire low half pretty wide, so unless you have some pretty big hands, this thing is going to be pretty uncomfortable over time. Another thing with these legs is that they never really fold up evenly unless you really take the time to achieve this. Just because of the way that the legs are designed, generally every time that you collapse this thing, the legs are going to be lopsided and it just adds to the unergonomic grip. Again, you could spend the time to just perfect this thing, but Imagine doing that every time that you pick up this tripod and trying to cl close the legs. You have to spend the extra time to really make it even so that it's a little bit more ergonomic. And to me, that's just a lot of wasted time. You can definitely use the EPC 10K as a vlogging tripod, but I just personally don't think that it's optimized to do so. Check out Saray's 3T15 or 3T35, which are two superior vlogging tripod options. At the end of the day, had Saray not sent me this EPC 10K, I personally would not have bought it. That may sound bad, but this is simply because I already have the legs from my EP204S monopod, and I can just throw my own ball head on it to make my own makeshift EPC 10K like I have in the past. I personally wouldn't buy this thing because I kind of already have my own version of this product. And for those in a similar situation, for those who have a pair of video monopod legs from Saray or some other brand, and perhaps you have your own ball head that you can throw on there, I would just do that. I personally wouldn't buy this product if you have something similar just for a more streamlined design. However, if you don't have a pair of legs, a ball head, and you can't put it together to make something like this, and you're really considering this product, I wouldn't mind recommending it. This is a very sturdy tripod, and although I don't think that this particular configuration is exactly ideal, the minor little features do come in handy sometimes, and this is definitely a product worth checking out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.